it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw uh, what it is between a T-Rex and a Godzilla when they merge, okay? I'm going to make this as easy as possible, and it could be step by step. So, let's get started. Hop right in. It's going to be short, so stay all the way to the very end of the video, and just be a lot of good stuff, okay? Let's do it right here. We're going to start with the mouth of the... Of, uh, it's going to be T-Rex-like, right? So what is a T-Rex hybrid with Godzilla? Pull down over here on the mouth. It's going to be kind of out of proportion. Now it's going to pull up. Down over here. Another bump. When you draw like a T-Rex, there's going to be usually two bumps if you draw it in profile. Let me grab my action figure here just to show you real quick. Go. So here's a T-Rex action figure. You're going to see this... I don't want to mark my T-Rex here, so you're going to see this like little swoop down right here and then another swoop for the cheekbone, okay? And that's kind of what I'm doing here. Swoop, swoop, mouth, cheekbone, and that's uh, a lot of animals are like that it's with uh, big jaws and stuff. All right, we're going to move up over here, slightly curve up for the front of the face, down for the, like for the jaw there. And then we're gonna go over here, we're gonna find the brow, all right? And the brow is pretty much, the brow hangs over the eye, always, obviously. And what it is, is evolutionarily, it's because uh, of rain, Of it's basically to keep things from not falling down, hitting your bare eyeball, right? It's to kind of like keep it safe in there. Curve line here, for the eye, downward. Go right here and then curve underneath the eye. Line, line. So go right here and draw an eyeball. Sweet. Let's go over here. We're going to go over here and draw the nostril. It's really just like a line toward the front. We're going to go over here, curve, because well, when the T Rex opens its mouth, Godzilla also has this. There's some skin right there. Kind of a skin on the inside. I don't know what it's called. Um, I used to know the name of it. I don't remember it, but lizards have this. You see it all over the place. Now I'm going to go over here and draw the teeth. And the teeth are like banana shapes in the T-Rex mouth. Right there. So think of like bananas shoving the T-Rex mouth there. I'm just going to add them here. Add them downward. Go over here to the back. Down. Curve right there for the bottom jaw and banana shape upward teeth right so far I mean this basically looks like a regular t-rex gonna go over here to the lower jaw to the front and I'm gonna slowly pull a line backwards here so backwards and it's gonna get a little bit bigger right here for the back of the jaw curve right here back of the jaw right there I'm gonna go over here on this side and I'm gonna draw this shape here to the back. And normally what that is, is it's the ear. When you look at lizards, stuff like that, they don't have actual ears, but you know, the ear canal is like around this area. Same thing with Godzilla and the T-Rex. Back over here, down. By the way, if you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe and click the bell notification. I go over how to draw T-Rex, Godzilla, many different poses on different dinosaurs. Uh, absolutely hit the subscribe, I post every day and you don't wanna miss out, okay? You don't wanna miss out, it'll show you on the on your feed. Gonna go down here now and I'm gonna start around this area and something. this is a very common mistake when you draw dinosaurs of any kind. Um, people tend to draw like a really skinny neck on things like T-Rex, but in reality there was a, you know, there there's a throat there, right? So it's a little bit thicker than you think down there because you're taking it into the throat. throat. Going over here, pull back for the back right there, downward, that's kind of that smooth part of the back. Another section over here, down, it's going to be for the leg that's going to be there. And then we're going to continue with the, the tail that's going to go off the screen by the way. This marker is dying, forgive me. Let's do this. All right. Gonna pull downward in the chest area, pull down. 
And by the way, if you want to be able to draw anything, like I mean you really want to be able to draw anything you want, go to sketching, uh, sorry, sketchingeasy.com and go click on the dragon over there. Sketchingeasy.com, click on the dragon. There's a beginner drawing lesson on there if you literally just started drawing a little bit ago. It'll teach you like a lot of the basics or uh, downward here for the hand, out, curve up, curve up right there, two spikes, line back, up over here. Gonna go downward, out, curve, curve. Up. Line, line. All right. So far, it just looks like a regular T Rex curve in. And now we're going to have the leg over here curve over, down, downward. We're just going to let it vignette out. Over here on this side, the far leg the knee in down curve curve for the back of the leg same thing over here on this side curve back of the leg and now we're gonna find the underside of the tail over here which is try to connect this line it's called a rhythm line if you want to learn the rhythm uh, stuff like that absolutely go check that out on uh, sketchingeasy.com go over here to the back now I am going to draw um, fire breath just to make it more Godzilla-like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the front of the mouth and I'm going to go zigzag right there coming out of the mouth. Zigzag here. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a bolder line. Just because I want to obvious that it is uh, like fire breath, so I want it to have kind of a different line texture to it. All right, Let, let's go make it different now. We're gonna make the Zilla part right here. We're gonna go in and we're gonna draw little spikes at the top of the head, getting a little bigger, right? So it's like two spikes merged. Three. Four. We're gonna get getting a little bigger now. We're getting kind of crazy now, right? Essentially, there's like mountains on his back right there. That's crazy. Same thing, just like these triangular shapes. And they can overlap, and they're gonna get smaller. I would say the peak is around mid back. Make it smaller. Whoopsie daisy. And there you go. Let's draw a little bit more of a texture right here. So I'm going to draw like a smaller mountain in front of it. Smaller mountain in front of it. Smaller mountain in front of it. Over here. Over here. Right here we're drawing little spikes and at this point you're literally just kind of drawing detail like right there that's most of kind of what's going on there we draw like a curve curve right there curve curve uh, you know just kind of for like skin texture you can do this kind of thing like light thin lines with a cross right there for a shortcut for scales Same thing in large areas, just a shortcut. Literally, you're doing hashtag stuff. Very, very simple hashtag stuff all over for that shortcut. And if you want, you can just kind of keep going with smaller details, like on the rock, on the rocks at the back here, or like rocks of spikes on the back. You can just kind of keep it going. But that's the basics. I want to thank you very much for coming here. 
Um, you are amazing. Uh, if you want to see another hybrid, I want you to recommend right now in the comments what you want to see a mixture of anything. I did Sonic, uh, like Sonic and Knuckles or something like it. Just tell me what you want to merge, even if it's ridiculous, and I'll do it. Talk to you later, and I'll see you very soon, all right? Later.